på her. Uh! Look at this place. Absolutely beautiful. Just like that. I'm not sure if I've shown you because you know what I'm like. Sometimes I just get busy. The turbo. Well, let's not say the turbo. Smoke coming from the back of the car. Didn't really have it before. And I don't know why. Talk to Leah, Midland Turbo, who built my turbo for me. What I've decided to do, I'm going to change the oil return. After talking to Liam, I'm worried that we've got too much oil going through the turbo. Now this T25 doesn't need an oil restrictor, but I've checked the oil pressure and we're getting about 70 to 75 psi when, when we're getting about 70, 80 psi from of oil pressure, which is flying through the turbo. Because when it's on idle, as you can see, it's not backed up and it's flowing lovely. That's why I've put the clear line on so I can keep an eye on what's going on. But when I rev it up, the line is just filling with oil. So, this so is needed. I've decided I'm going to put a restrictor in. No, I don't know how easy it's going to be. I don't even know how to find one. I've looked, but there's nothing for what I need because I've gone from AN to Banjo. The only other way I can do it is put the restrictor off the sandwich plate here, which will be just that one there, if you can see it. That will work. Goddamn cars. The reason I'm suspecting that it's too much oil is, look at this, there's oil squirting out of the turbo so it's not coming out of any of my fittings nothing like that it's literally coming out of the core of the turbo so I'm going to take a couple more pictures because I've cleaned that this is the second time it's done it send them across to Liam double check with him see what he thinks we might need to order a restrictor just too much damn pressure <sighs> then the banners look good get them go get them just buy the banners banner the world what I'm going to do I'm just going to check this off I don't know I need to see exactly what's going on because I'm not happy with this put this off because I don't want to change the gasket on that I've decided to undo this this had oil in so that's one of two things the oil is high in the sump nah mate otherwise it would be falling out of the oil return if it was full, you're thick. Oh, it's not flowing good enough into the sun. So I'm a bit stuck at this right what to do. Because that, that that's clear as day. That's clear as day. So there should be enough flow. Like oil should fly down there. I think there's a couple of things I can do. Put, bend that a little bit more. I know Josh, the, my barber, is a gas engineer, and I'm thinking he might have a bender. So I'm going to ask him now if we can put a bit more of a bend on this without restricting the flow, because that's the key. And if that doesn't work, I might just buy the restrictor put it into the oil feed to try and slow the amount of oil going through the turbo into the sump because that seems to be our problem so the oil return is lovely and clear the oil return there is lovely and clear look at that oil what's it coming from Mosh? I think I'm gonna add the oil, the oil restrictor because it's just too much oil because when I'm on two step obviously the car is not moving we're looking down flooding like this this line here is just f solid of oil which is telling me it's too much goddamn pressure I'm going to order that and I'm probably going to put the fit in on the sandwich plate that's all I can think oh. I wanted to drive it this weekend I suppose I can still drive it and this is the oil restrictor I've ordered. 
So it's a one a MPT fitting, which is going to come straight out the sandwich plate, and then it's got the 0.9 millimeter restrictor for the oil feed. I'm hoping that's going to fix the job. That's going to hopefully be here in I don't know. It says next next five days, but who knows? It might be in a week. It might be in two. But I'm going to get this back together because I'm going to drive it the weekend. So I'm going to put that oil feed and all that back together. Grant's going to come down, he's buying two tyres off me because his Verosa tyres are knackered. No burnouts, just out of shape. New tape. As you can see, it's all, it's all nice, it's on. Anyway, it goes. Where's my pipe? There it is. I just like using Teflon tape. That's it. People might go, you don't need Teflon tape there. You don't need this, you don't need that. Listen, yeah, I'll do what I want. You do what you want. I'll do what I want. I'm gonna clean that oil off first. Yeah. Then I'm gonna fit that. Yeah. Okay, so we're back on for now. I just don't know. Until that part comes, we're gonna have to wait and see. Uh, it's not going to cause any damage luckily, it's just going to make the car smoke and look like a bag of shit. It's just, it's just true I suppose. There is other things that we need to do on the car. Because you know, the more I look at it, the more we need to do stuff. Drive shafts have exploded. To the grease. Everywhere. Both sides. Not as bad on this side. But well, it's leaking out of the hole there. I've cleaned this side off. I never bothered doing that side. This side needs an anti-roll bar link because it's, uh, it's it's missing. This side we may as well replace. Bowl there. But other than that, everything else is absolutely hunky dory. Exhaust is marvellous. The welding. The welding. And the ceiling has held up lovely. It just needs tidying up. That, that's all. It just needs a bit, a bit more tidying up. We was pushed to get it ready for the dyno, which we done. So we should be happy. Pat on the back there, boys. It. But I think this weekend, if the weather's dry, I really want to enjoy it. So that's what I'm going to do. Woo! It's getting late now. Decided to swap the cars around. The S15 is on its home. Oh, it's nice. Nice to be under here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace these lines. I burst this one about two years ago. I don't even know you can see. Maybe I should get a torch for you. I need to up my lighting game that way. I think we could do with some new lights in the unit because that one's been out for a long time. Now's the time. But yeah, so I had to replace this. So I had to replace this line a couple of years ago. This one's starting to get rusty. Uh, I've actually had the lines a long time. I've just never bothered fitting them. Let me show you. So here they are. Got the two braided lines with the fittings. So, okay, high pressure should do the job. I'm gonna probably do that tomorrow if I was honest. I don't want to make a start tonight because it's getting late and I want to take the Civic out for a run. See what we can find on the road. But yeah, if I decide to do something else, I'll pick up the camera. But if I don't, I might just go out for a run.
good sounding car here. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit.